the ever-blossom tree that Lord Takeru brought from his homeland? Someone cut a branch from the tree and took the flowers for themselves. Without its flowers, the ever-blossom was unable to survive. Eventually, the entire tree was lost. Goodbye. Wolf. I am relieved to see that you are safe. And Al? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. <sighs> this branch. It's from the Everblossom tree? I see. So Al had it. Yes. We are a step closer to the Fountainhead Incense. Yes. Yes. That's right, Wolf. I asked Lady Emma about the Sakura tree. You did? What did she say? The tree is called an Everblossom. Lord Dekeru brought it here from the Divine Realm, but it has withered away and no longer remains. I see. However, it is said that someone plucked a branch from the Everblossom and stole off with it. Hmm. Who would do such a thing? Hmm. What's lost is lost. Finding a stolen tree branch? We have no information to go on. Let us gather what we can for the aroma first. As you wish. My lord. I've procured the flower for the Fountainhead Aroma. Oh? Was it truly blooming in the Sunken Valley? Yes. Deep within the valley. So that is where the Fountainhead waters pool deeply. You've done well to acquire this wolf. Wolf, we've finally done it. Once we make the Fountainhead incense, you can infuse your clothes with the aroma. Now. Place all of the ingredients in the incense burner. As you wish. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes. My lord. Ugh. It's over now, Wolf. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Mm. So this... is the Fountainhead Incense. It's so... extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering that was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. Almost there. Yes. Do what must be done. Hmm. Must do what must be done. 
Hmm? That is what the Diviner said. He must be hiding something. I see. Uh. What is it? Lord Takeru spoke of beheading in his memoirs. Yes. Perhaps the act of beheading was the means to end immortality, along with the life of the Divine Heir. What? If you walk the path of immortal severance, then you must use the mortal blade to... End my lord's life. Yes. Lord Kuro desires immortal severance. I understand that. I do. And yet, Master Wolf, might there be a path where Lord Kuro need not lose his life? The dragon's heritage is no ordinary power. There could be such a path. Well then, Master Wolf, I ask that you help me find such a path. A path where Lord Kuro need not die. I will not let my lord die. Thank you. We must find a starting point. Yes. <sighs> oh. Yes. Lady Tomoy's. Master Wolf, I might have a place to start. I'll look into it, and let you know as soon as I find something. Thank you. Also, we may want to... Keep this from the Divine Heir. Yes. Master Wolf, I might all look into it. Thank you. Also... Keep this from the Divine Heir. Yes. Goodbye. Master Wolf, I've found something. Here. Purification? Yes. It says here, there is a way to cut the ties of the dragon's blood and transform its owner into a regular human being. The process requires a flower from the Everblossom, as I told you once before. The Everblossom is a Sakura tree that Lord Takeru brought here from the Divine Realm. However, someone cut a branch from the tree and stole the flowers, and the Everblossom eventually dried and withered away. So the Everblossom tree has been entirely lost. If the tree itself no longer exists, the flowers don't exist either. Correct. But the branch that was stolen did have flowers on it. So if it could be found... Is this the branch from the Everblossom tree? It was... in my father's possession. Master Owl. But there are no flowers on this branch. Hmm. What's wrong? It's nothing. I was just trying to remember back to when the Everblossom still flourished. But try as I might, the memory is hazy. Uh, they're graves. What? I think I'll pay a visit to Lord Takeru and Lady Tomoe's graves. That's where the Everblossom once grew. Something might come back to me.
Why must that be the only way? Hello? Uh, Master Wolf, how long have you been there? Have you remembered anything? Uh, nothing, I'm afraid. Nothing? That's right. I'm sorry. I wasn't able to remember anything significant. Perhaps one of my old friends can help. I'll meet with Orangutan at his temple. Orangutan? Yes. It's the sculptor's old nickname. their goal of immortal severance. Either he or Lord Kuro must die. Mm. Why does that have to be the only way? So will you keep that from them? But Orangutan, if I give this to him, he's going to die. You're here, Master Wolf. Was the sculptor able to help? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid we'll need to look for other clues. One of us must die. <sighs> what did that mean? Were you listening this whole time? Tell me. Uh, I saw it that day beneath the branches of the Everblossom tree. Lady Tomoe tried to commit suicide. Why? She said, those made immortal by the oath of the dragon's heritage shackle their masters. So in order for the purification to occur, the oath bound of the dragon's heritage must die? Yes, precisely. But she was unable to achieve the purification. Correct. She did not have the mortal blade. Hmm. I don't want to lose Lord Kuro, or you. But all paths are leading to dead ends. What are you hiding? Uh, so, you overheard. Tell me. <sighs> Do what must be done. I will live by those words, as my master does. Here. <laughs> Is this a bell? It fell off Owl's dead body, if I'm not mistaken. You and Master Owl have a deep connection. Should you offer it to Buddha, it may be a different experience than the one you had before. I will try it. I am not sure what memories you will see, but the bell belonged to Master Owl. So please, take care. Goodbye, Master Wolf. <laughs> 